Hi, beautiful people. My name is Mark, and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. So for today, I've decided to share with you a very lovely and romantic flower that's very easy to make. You can actually make this to give to your special someone as a gift, or you can actually put it on your cakes or simply your floral arrangement. It's none other than this gorgeous tulip. You see that? So you can make this in different shades of color like yellow, pink, peaches, or even plain white. And the good thing about this is it doesn't require any wire. And for the main stem, you can actually use a barbecue stick or barbecue skewers. It doesn't even have any styros at all. And you can see the center. Okay, it's very pretty. So what are you waiting for? Let's start. Okay, so we'll be making the center of our tulip. So what I'm using here is actually just a barbecue stick or a barbecue skewers, okay? Because I'm gonna show you a technique that is non-wired on how you make tulips, okay? So first, you need one centimeter size ball. So this is very light pink because the petals that I'll be using is very light pink. So first, you dab cornstarch on your fingers and make this elongated. Okay, so you can roll it on your palm to make it elongated just like so and then you need to insert this at the end of the barbecue stick okay dab cornstarch so it won't be that sticky and then i twist and twist okay and then you have to make this a little bit longer okay so the thinner the better okay so what you need to do again dab cornstarch roll it on your fingers make sure it's smooth and then once you have something like so what you need to do now you need to create three indentions okay so i'll just pinch dab cornstarch on your hand so just pinch okay just one two then three okay so you already have those three indentions Okay, just like so. You see that? It's very pretty. And then later on, we'll add some dust. Don't focus. Okay, so this is what you have. And then, you need to leave this aside. And then, we will get around half a centimeter size of the same color of the paste. So what you need to do, you need to elongate this again on your palm. Just like that. And then, what you need to do now, I will press the end. Okay, just one part so just press it with your finger okay so one end should be flat like so see that it won't focus okay so this is what you'll have and then what you need to do now I will pinch this okay just like that and then you need to make six pieces of this one and then what you will do You'll get your brush, okay, and then you need to dab in edible glue in your hands and you will put edible glue on the side of the center for the tulip and then you need to attach this one just like so, okay, like that. So you need to make six pieces of this all around. It should be equally placed and then after that I'll show you how to make the very base of the flower. Okay, so after you placed all the pastels on the side of the stigma for the tulips, okay, uh, we'll now be adding some details. So again, we'll be using edible glue for the exact consistency. It's on the description box below so I suggest you check it out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add some edible glue all over the top part and the underneath of all these cute little stigmas. i sorry, pistil. What I mean is pistils, okay? The stigma is the one in the center. So the ones on the side, these are all pistils. Okay, so just add edible glue. And then what I have here is my gelatin mix that I added color brown petal dust, okay? So this is what it looks like. So what you need to do, I'll pour it on the lid. And then what I will do, I'll gently sprinkle this on the pistil that actually has 
edible glue on it. So what will happen is the gelatin bits will actually stick to the center. Okay, and then this will make it more realistic. Okay. So just gently sprinkle it all over and then tap out all the excess. Okay. So this is what you should have. See that. Okay. So don't mind the center if it actually had some color browns on it. Won't focus. Hello. Okay, it won't focus, but then you can see how detailed it is. Okay. One moment. Okay, so it should look like so. You see that? And then later on, we'll dust this with yellow. So what you need to do now, you need to let this dry for a little bit and then we'll add the base. Okay? Okay, so right now, the, the sides of the pistil is a little bit dry. So we'll already make the base of the tulip itself. Okay, since we are going to make a non-wired tulip and of course the chickens are noisy again they're saying hi okay so i have your paste same color as my center okay it's very light pink this is around one inch so you can go smaller you can go bigger um basically what you need to do here um we will be making the base of the tulip so my advice the right measurement should be it should be at least at the same size of the center okay so that it won't be that thin. So dab corn starts on your hand and smoothen out the paste. So you need to smooth this out just enough, okay? Because this will be covered with a lot of petals. Okay, so what you need to do now, I'll dab in corn starch. Okay, so you just need to press on the sides. Making a little cup shape. Okay, this is similar to making the center of the daffodil. The only difference is this will not be seen, okay? This will just form as the base of our tulip. So depending on how big your tulip is, will determine how big you want your base to be, okay? So you see that? So this is what it looks like. So again, continue pressing and pressing. Okay, so it needs to be cupped, okay? You see the curve? Because this is where we'll be attaching the petals. Okay, so if it has cracks or if it's irregular, it's okay. Because it's not going to be seen. Okay, so what you need to do now, it's about the same size and it's flat. I will insert the stick underneath. Okay. Just like so. And then I will lock this. So again, you need cornstarch. So it won't be sticky. Make sure you lock this very well, okay? So that it won't move. And you need to let this dry for about an hour, okay, before you can add the petals. See that? So this is what it would look like. So you need to use the same color because you'll be attaching petals here, okay? Because if you use a different color, it will show through. So it should be the same color, okay? So I'll just let this dry and then we'll start in a few minutes and making our petals. See that? Okay. Okay, so right now we already cut our six petals. You see that? So we used cutter number four. So for the measurement, this is 3.5 centimeter by 4.5 centimeter. Okay, so the size is 3.5 centimeter by 4.5 centimeter. Okay, so that's the sizes of our petals. And then you have to put it inside the Tupperware so it won't dry out or if you have a Ziploc, you can also use that. If you don't have a Ziploc, you can use the blue flap, okay? So you have to put this here so it won't dry out. So what you need to do now, you need to get your foam pad. 
Okay, so what you'll do, you'll get one petal first. Okay, dab cornstarch. And then dab cornstarch on your paste also. See that? And what you want to do, you want to thin out the edges and manipulate the shape. Okay? See that? Because this will be our tulip petals. Okay, see that? This is how it should look like. Okay, so for the size, it's now already 5 cm by 5.5. Okay, so it's 5 cm by 5.5. And then what you need to do now, I have here my multivaner. So I'm just going to add cornstarch and press it in. Okay, you need to press hard as you can so you get all the beautiful veinings in life. Okay, you press hard to get the beautiful veinings in life. Okay, so after that, you take it out. So you need to get your sponge. So what I have here is an ordinary sponge. So what you need to do now, using your ball tool, your bigger ball tool, okay? Dab cornstarch. Gently, we will ball the sides, okay? So, we'll start first on this side. Just go forward, okay? And then go on the, on the other one. You can always go back, okay? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, what it does, it actually cups your petal. And this is what you'll have. You see that? You can also use the bigger one, okay? So that it's more easier. Back and forth, and then back and forth, okay? And then once you have this, it's already cut. You can use a spoon, okay? You can dry it on the spoon, just like so. Okay, and then we leave this to dry. And then after that, you need to do this on all the six petals, okay? And then after that, we'll attach it to our base. Okay, so... Our petals are already drying up, so while we're waiting for it to dry completely, we'll get our center, okay? So this is our center a while back, so we need to dust this with yellow. So the dust that I'm using is rainbow dust, okay? So I just diluted it in cornstarch, you see that? Because this one should be really, really yellow. Okay. We need to dust this with yellow. Okay, just like so you see the difference so this is how it should look like hello focus okay yeah so there you have it and then after that uh, we'll be adding our petals in a bit okay so right now our petals is a little bit dry but they already hold their form so we need to stick it already on our base so if you try to see all your petals you'll see that some of them are a bit smaller than the other so you first need to get the small ones and then the bigger ones will be on the outer part, okay? So tulips are actually a member of the lily family. That's why if you'll observe, they have the same structure. They have one stigma, six pistils, and then they also have six petals, okay? So I'll first get the small petal. I'll add glue, okay, on the bottom part, on a letter U shape, just like so. You see that? Not too much, just enough. And then I'll just attach it on this side. You see that? Okay, so just press on the side that actually has glue. Okay, you can make this more cup if you want. See that? So this is how it should look like. Okay, and then I'll get the other one. Again, add edible glue on a U form. And then you need to add or place this just on the other side okay because tulips the formation of the petals is actually a triad okay so it comes in three pieces see that okay and then just press you can actually pinch this a little bit so that it will be more closed okay and then we add the next one okay so dab the excess glue on your hands okay, and then we put edible glue here on a U shape and then I add it just right here okay 
You see that? This is the positioning. So this is what the three petals would look like at first. You see that? Okay, so you can actually cup this more since the petals are not yet fully hard. Okay. This is the beauty with this technique so you can make it cup more. Okay, and then after that, we'll be adding the next petals. Okay, so we'll be adding the other petals. There just has been an interruption by a phone call. <laughs> okay, that's normal. Okay, so what you need to do, um, you need to go on the in-betweens, okay? So that's where you'll be adding petal, like on this part, okay? Same procedure, just a touch it. Okay. So the technique here, um, your base should be hard already. It should be dry before you already stick your petals, okay? Because otherwise, you'll be having some problems. So normally for the base, I let it dry for about half a day. Okay. Or if not half a day, I let it dry for about at least overnight so add this one here okay and then you need to continue on adding petals until you're done okay so right now you'll see that we added all the petals and we are actually done with our tulips so the beauty with this tulip is it's actually very cup like the real flower and then it doesn't have any wires at all Okay, so if you look at the center, that's how it looks like. Okay, so after that, we'll be adding, you can, it, this is optional, but normally what I do, I still add a green paste over here. So to make it more cohesive, so we'll do that right now. So basically, you just need to get a very small amount of your gum paste color green. So this is forest green. To achieve that, I added... Um, I colored the gum paste color green and then I added red and then I added yellow and then I added more green until you get this very dark color. Okay, so what you need to do now, you need to get your tulip. Okay, so of course, first you need to knead and massage the paste. You need to condition this and then gently we attach it on the bottom part. Just like so. Okay, and then you need to close this and continue pressing. Okay, so sometimes it will be sticky because the, of the heat on our hands. So my advice, you need to add cornstarch. Okay, and then you need to make this close. Okay, see that? Because you don't want that part to be seen. Okay, and then continue pressing and pressing until you cover the entire stem, okay? So that it's going to be cohesive and then later on we will dust. See that? So you have to make this really smooth. Okay? So that your tulips would look very nice. See that? Okay? So you have to make this thin and cover almost the entirety. Okay, so right now our tulips is already dried. You see that? And I actually added the green stem part. Okay? Hello, focus! Okay, so yeah, that's good. Okay, so now that it's already dry, this is the perfect time for us to dust. So normally for my tulips, um, I'll be adding some details. So I'll first use color yellow. I'll just add on the tips. Okay, so again, this is non-wired. So you see that it actually had some glows of those yellow and then I'll be getting my pinks okay so I'll just add on some parts okay so what I'm using is makeup brush because the this is very fine okay so you need to do that all around just like that so yeah and then, of course, you need to blend in the green. So, what I have here is color green. So, I'll just be dusting from below. Okay. So, if you have accidentally added some dust over there, don't panic. You need to get your larger brush and then gently just dust it off. 
okay because what you need to do here you basically need to blend in the color of the dark green going up a little bit okay see that so this is how it should look like okay it's very pretty and then this is the top part okay won't focus hello okay so there you have it and then i'll be showing you how to add leaves so you need to color the entire flower and then after that you need to add some leaves okay very little you dab the excess on your hands so I just add edible glue here at the bottom part very little not too much okay on letter V form and then we will get our tulips so this is our tulips okay so when you add your leaf you need to get it and just attach and close and close just like so okay so my advice you need to let this dry first before you attach or otherwise if you want to make it a little bit folded then you may already add so okay so there you have it this is our tulips you see that okay so again uh, you need to let the leaves dry first before you fully attach or you can actually leave it dry like this Okay, because since the flower is already dry, you need to let it uh, laying down like that until the leaves are fully dry and then it's perfect for assembly. Okay, so there you have it. This is how you make tulips without wires.